Check sound store for hard disk space. We need the uh, video wall cab view. 22 megs left. 22.
have shaped our ways of doing business, fighting wars, and expanding our nation westward. Yet the need for special codes and training kept the telegraph out of everyday life. The telephone was for all of us. Our voices were its code. It carried our excitement, tenderness, our impatience. It was a technological extension of ourselves. But the telephone also reduced our privacy, and it increased the pace of life. Hi, hello, everybody. This is Rudy Valley and Company. Greetings. Radio's message came through the air, not the wires. Millions of us could tune in at once to the same news, comedy, musical scores, and it was free. Or was it? Those who controlled the airwaves influenced how we thought about the world, what we would buy, and our political opinions, too. Then there was television, first seen by Americans at the 1939 World's Fair. It increased the power of our electronic experience with visual imagery. TV became a window but also a kind of filter through which we view life. But this world of television would have to wait until a world war had been fought. World War II. That's the transition we've got to go through, and it's going to need an awful lot of education and training to go through the transition smoothly without people getting hurt in society. It's important that we make sure that computers and information technology in general not belong just to a few specialists, a few people who understand the intricacies of the technology. Because really, computers and information technology is and should be a popular technology. As our jobs require us to work with information technology more and more, what it means to work and what it means to learn are increasingly becoming the same thing. Because working is about 
being responsive to information Answering that question really is up to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> 